Good morning, students. I am Santan, working as a physics faculty in Target English Medium School. Today, I would like to explain what is the changes of state and how we can understand and okay in how many ways okay so the state is changes that is we are discussed in this part of video in the chapter of heat okay now let me come to our point okay what is our topic changes of state so we know that matter can be classified mainly into the three types solids liquids and gases but what is the change of state means a simple definition is there for that one a transition from any one of these states these is nothing but either solid or liquid or gas to another state that is called change of state listen very carefully how many states of matter is there three solid liquid and gas that's why a transition from any one of that these states to another state that is simply we are called change of state that is one is there but generally okay so when the state is changes means mainly in the two cases either by absorbing the heat energy or by given out or losses the heat energy okay so most of the cases when the substance will be absorb the heat energy solid phase converted into the liquid and liquid is converted into the gas state but when in case of reverse mode like gases to liquid liquid to solid during such type of situations the body will be given out the heat energy that is the way of that one that's why if we can consider the any body or if we can take it the any body if the body will be either absorbing heat energy or given out the heat energy the state is changes okay now in this one okay for understanding of you okay so the changing of the state we are called with the different names that is keep simply we can keep in your mind with help of this diagram it is we are consider solid liquid next one gas so we know that matter can be classified into the how many types three types solid liquid and gas now here okay so initially the given substance is in the solid state starting onwards can consider that if a substance phase changes from solid to liquid like this one okay it is called melting next a phase of a substance means a liquid phase of a substance changes into the gas state by absorbing heat energy it is called either evaporation or boiling boiling or vaporization is a very carefully so i say that clearly okay when a substance is absorbed the heat energy it is may be changes from solid to liquid or liquid to solid that is depend upon the initial state that's why solid phase changes into the liquid phase that process we are called melting process liquid phase changes into the gaseous phase that process we are called either evaporation or boiling or vaporization but evaporation and boiling both are not same a small difference is there that is we discussed in that particular concept next one gaseous state is changes into the liquid state by given out or losses the heat energy this is called condensation 
next one liquid phase changes into the solid phase this is called okay freezing or fusion but okay in certain substances like iodine naphthalene camphor in the type of substances we are observing that okay so initially if they are in a solid state but during absorbing the heat energy solid must be converted into the liquid liquid is must be converted into the gases this is the way of changing the state okay so and in the reverse mode gases stay first converted into the liquid liquid to next solid but in the iodine camphor and naphthalene substances we are observing that initially they are in solid state maybe we can say that at that time so when they absorb the heat energy during the heating they are when they absorb the heat energy so they are not converted into the liquid they directly converted into the gases like this one. this process we are called sublimation okay listen very carefully what is the sublimation means okay a solid phase of a substance is directly converted into the gaseous state without passing the liquid state that is called sublimation if the same iodine camphor and naphthalene initially they are in gaseous state and by giving out the heat energy to the surroundings or to anyone so gas state is directly converted to the solid without passing liquid this is called reverse of sublimation so all of you okay listen very carefully with the help of this diagram with the help of this diagram you can easily understand it okay so solid phase changes to liquid liquid phase changes to gas and vice versa that process what we are called simply so solid phase changes to the liquid phase is called melting liquid phase changes into the gaseous phase is called evaporation or boiling or vaporization next gaseous state changes into the liquid state is called condensation liquid state changes into the solid state is called freezing or fusion solid state directly converted into the gaseous state without passing the liquid state is called sublimation and gaseous state is directly converted into the solid without passing the liquid is called reverse sublimation okay so now here we have considered that solid to liquid liquid to gas during this type of change of the state the substance will be absorb the heat energy when the substance is initially in the gas state converted to the liquid further solid during this reverse mode the substance will be given out or release or loses the heat energy now we are discussing that what is the melting what is the boiling like each category each okay process we discussed step by step in this time now we discuss that what is the melting okay so melting is nothing but the process of a solid phase of a substance changes into the liquid phase is called melting this is very carefully the process of a solid phase of a substance changes into the liquid phase that process we are called melting process okay listen very carefully so the process of a solid phase of a substance changes into the liquid phase is called melting 
Now we discuss that thing. What is the melting point of ice or substances? So in the melting process, this melting point statement is very important for one mark or for bit purposes also. A constant temperature at which the entire substance completely listen very carefully melting point is nothing but a constant temperature at which the entire substance completely Or not? 
how we can find means one experiment is there with help of that experiment we can find the melting point of ice is exactly 0 degree celsius so now our topic is how to find melting point of ice how to find melting of ice experimentally so listen so our concept is what is the one how to find melting point of ice experimentally so means okay it is okay one time they are asking for four marks this concept that's why every student will listen very carefully So, okay, with help of one experiment, I will be prove the, the melting of the melting point of ice is okay, 0 degree Celsius. Let me come to our topic. So, we know that if we can do any experiment, okay, we must be one some materials or operators, okay, required to us. So, for proving, for okay, proving of Melting or for sorry, for finding of melting of ice with help of this experiment, we want us some materials are required or not. That's why which materials are required to us to conduct this experiment means a large beaker, ice cubes, thermometer, wire glass, tripod, Bunsen burner, thermometer, retard stand, and a glass rod. These are the materials are required to us. Once again, listen very carefully. A large glass beaker, ice cubes, wire gas, tripod, Bunsen burner, retard stand, thermometer, and a glass rod. Okay, these materials are required to us. Okay, to conduct this experiment. Now, come to that one. In what way we can follow? The method is nothing but procedure. So, what is the procedure we can follow here? Means simply, first of all, okay, we can take some quantity of ice cubes and dry up them with a filter paper and then immediately put into the beaker. Listen very carefully. First of all, we can take some quantity of ice cubes and dry up them with a filter paper and immediately put into the beaker. Now, the beaker is placed over a okay, wire glass and further it is placed over on a tripod. 
Now we can take okay a thermometer is freely suspended into the beaker with help of a retard stand. In this one, which thermometer we are using? A laboratory thermometer. Generally, a laboratory thermometer we are observing that its temperature it measures the temperature minus 10 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius. Okay, which thermometer we are using here? Laboratory thermometer. With the help of laboratory thermometer, we can measure the range of temperature lies between minus 10 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius. That is one is it. So listen, first of all, we can take a large beaker. Sorry, first of all, we can take some quantity of ice cube, dry up them with a filter paper and immediately put into the beaker. Now the beaker, okay, first point is complete. Second one, now the beaker is placed over a white glass and further it is kept over, kept on tripod. Next, what we can do, a th next third point is, okay, a laboratory thermometer is freely suspended into the beaker with help of a retard stack. Here, the bulk of the thermometer is must be, okay, between the ice cubes in the beaker. Next, after that one, what we can do? Next, now, gently heat the beaker with help of the Bunsen burner and carefully observing the, okay, thermometer heating or temperature heating in the thermometer. Okay, now we are observing that, okay. So, when the temperature in the thermometer is reaches to the zero degree Celsius, at that time, we are observing that, okay, the ice cubes will be start the melting or, okay, when, okay, ah, sorry, during supplying of heat energy, so, of, okay, you are carefully observing the ice cubes, okay, stay, when the ice cubes will be start to melt, okay, at that time, we see the temperature in the thermometer, that is showing one temperature, that is, we are noted as a T1 degree Celsius. T1 degree Celsius we are called initial temperature of the melting of ice. Okay. Now we are continuously supply the heat energy and observing the thermometer reading very carefully. Okay. But here, okay, the th temperature reading in the thermometer further not increases after reaches to one particular value is nothing but okay. So T1 degree Celsius is nothing but what is that one? 0 degrees that is you are observing clearly means when the temperature of the thermometer is reaches to the 0 degree Celsius okay at that time the ice will be stopped or melt into the water but still you are supplying the heat energy also the temperature is further not change or rise in the thermometer up to certain time means up to what time okay the temperature is not rises or change in the thermometer means okay up to the entire the ice cubes are completely melt into the water okay so listen very carefully first of all we can take some quantity of ice cubes dry up them with filter paper and immediately put into the beaker second thing is now the beaker is placed over a wire glass and further is kept over a tripod and third one is take a thermometer sorry take a laboratory thermometer it is freely suspended with help of the thermometer okay what is the range of the laboratory thermometer we are using here minus 10 degree celsius range to 110 degree celsius range but here the thermometer bulb must be inside the ice cubes okay now gently heat the beaker with help of the Bunsen burner and carefully observing the state of the ice cubes. When the ice cubes will be start to melt at that time by seeing the thermometer we note at the temperature that is T1 degree Celsius. Okay. And carefully observing the thermometer reading up to the entire the ice cubes in the beaker is completely melt into the water or completely convert into the water. Okay, so uh, after entire the ice cubes are completely converted into the water, at that time also we observe the reading in the thermometer. That reading we are noted as T2 degree Celsius. Listen very carefully. 
T1 degree Celsius is represented the initial temperature of the melting point of ice or melting of ice. Next T2 is the okay. What is the final temperature of the melting of ice? Means final. Okay. It is the starting value. It is the ending value of the melting of ice or during the melting. Period. Now it is also in this concept we are observing that zero degree Celsius. Means the T1 value and the T2 value both are showing zero degree Celsius. But here, okay, one doubt is arise in our mind. What is that one means? Okay, here, generally, you, in case of any substances, okay, we are observing that if we can heat the substances or if your body is absorbed the heat energy, its temperature is gradually increases. Here is also, okay, after the temperature in the thermometer initially reaches to the zero degree Celsius, we are not stopped the supplying of heat energy, we are continuously heated the beaker. But why the temperature is not rise or change in the thermometer up to completely melt into the water or converted into the water? What is the reason? Okay, the reason is depend on the latent heat concept. Okay, but what we can write here first, I will say once again clearly. Listen very carefully. During writing the examination, in the examination, you must be draw this diagram also for this type of question. What is the question? How to find melting point of ice experimentally? So, what are the materials required to us? Okay, a large beaker, ice cubes, wire gas, tripod, Bunsen burner, retard stand, thermometer, and glass rod. What is the use of the glass rod? It is used for stirring purpose only in this one. Okay. Now, come to that one. Which type of way of method we can follow to find melting point of ice? That is we discussed under the procedure. Take some quantity of ice chips and dry up them with filter paper. And after that, immediately ice chips are put into the beaker. Now, the beaker is okay, placed over a wire gas and further it is kept over on the tripod. And the third one is, take a laboratory thermometer. It is freely suspended in the beaker with help of a retard stand. And now, in the fourth point is there. Now, the beaker is slow, gently heated with help of the Bunsen burner and observing the state of the ice and as well as the reading in the thermometer. Okay. So, when the ice cubes in the beaker will be start or start the melting, at that time we see the reading in the thermometer. It is showing one reading that is we are noted as T1 degree Celsius. Okay. So now further we are continuously heated up to the end time the ice chips are completely converted or changes into the water. Okay. So after completely changes, sorry, the end time the ice chips in the beaker after completely changes into the water, again we can see the reading in the thermometer by carefully observing in this process. That is we are noted as T2. So from this one, what you are from this experiment, what your understanding means T1 and T2, these two values are same. Means T1 is 0 degree Celsius, T2 is also 0 degree Celsius. That's why okay, the melting point of ice we can find experimentally. What is the value? 0 degree Celsius. Constant. 
So first of all, what is that one? Temperature remains constant, and second one, volume of water or volume decreases. So all of you listen very carefully. During the melting, it is very important. Okay, number of times for the bit purpose or one mark, they are asking that during the melting, which is constant or which physical quantity is constant, means temperature is remains constant. Okay, and also we are observing in the previous experiment. Okay, what is the T1 value? Zero degrees Celsius. What is the T2 value? Zero degrees Celsius. Is nothing but it. Okay, which is constant here during the melting temperature. is remains constant and what is the another one means volume of water is decreases okay but generally here in case of solid ice is converted into the water what we can do we supply the heat energy okay so already in the starting of the changes of state concept i clearly explain to you what is that one if a substance is absorbed the heat energy according to thermal properties of matter okay so the body will be start the expansion okay if your body is given out the heat energy or loses the heat energy or release the heat energy the substance will start the contraction but here okay so when the substance will be absorb the heat energy okay it will be start the expansion expansion means volume is increases but here okay what we say is that volume is decreases but how it is possible means okay generally when phenomena or concept is there that is anomalous expansion of water okay the water will be show shows a peculiar okay or special behavior that behavior name is called anomalous expansion of water what is the anomalous expansion of water means okay so generally from 0 to 4 degrees celsius instead of okay expansion what will be start the contraction and 4 to 0 degree celsius instead of contraction we start the expansion that is the main okay behavior of the which one water that's why here okay so the scientists have found out that okay during the melting temperature remains constant and the volume of water is decreases is it correct or not i will be tell with one okay example So what is that one means here? One gram. So one gram of ice at zero degree Celsius. Listen very carefully. One gram of ice at zero degree Celsius will be having how much volume means it? Okay, one point zero nine zero eight centimeter cube. Next, okay. Now same thing you can say that one gram of water at zero degree Celsius is it? Okay. So means melting is nothing but we know that ice is converted into the water is nothing but solid to liquid. So same one gram ice we can take means only one gram of water will be converted. That's why one gram of water at same degree Celsius is okay. One point zero 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 one centimeter cube. Okay, here we are observing that what is that one? Okay, one gram of ice at zero degree Celsius, its volume is this value, and one gram of water at the same temperature, volume is this one. Okay, this volume we are getting as V one, and this volume we are getting as V two. Then what is the difference in the volume? V is equal to okay V one minus V two. What is the V one value? One point zero nine zero eight minus one point triple zero one. Then what is the remaining value? Okay. So means one point zero nine zero eight one point triple zero one. So seven zero nine zero zero. That's why zero point zero nine zero seven centimeter cube. Means okay. So one gram of ice at zero degree Celsius is converted or changes into the one gram of water at the same temperature. How much volume is decreases? Zero point zero nine zero seven centimeter cube. Means so practically also the scientists have found out that 
because of what has a special behavior between the 0 to 4 degrees Celsius only. After the 4, it is follow the regular mode means expansion. Okay. So, and after the 0, in the lower case, it starts the contraction. Only it is showing a special behavior from 0 to 4, 4 to 0 only. Okay. So, that's why, listen once again carefully. During the melting, how many observations we are observed? Mainly, we are observed the two observations. First thing is temperature is remains constant, and second one is volume of water is decreases. How much is decreases in case of one gram of okay? I see are taking 0.0907 centimeter cube. Next one is latent heat. The amount of heat energy, the amount of heat energy absorbed or given out by a unit mass of substance during change of state without any rise or change in temperature listen very carefully how to define latent heat means okay the amount of heat energy absorbed or given out by a unit mass of a substance during change of state without any rise or change in temperature means at a constant temperature the given unit mass of a substances okay but either by absorbing heat energy or either given out the heat energy okay the state is changes that okay during the changing the state of sorry during the changing the state so the body will be absorbed how much heat energy without change in temperature simply i say that okay so means during the change of state without rising temperature the body will be absorbed or given out how much heat energy that is called latent heat okay so it is represented by a symbol of l l is the latent heat l is equals to q by okay m why q by m q is the amount of heat energy m is the unit mass of the substances but here temperature is constant it is not a change that's why l is equals to q by m latent heat is equals to amount of heat energy absorbed or liberated upon ma given mass of the substance okay now from this one what is the si unit si is nothing but system of international okay si unit is so energy is nothing but joule mass is nothing but kilogram that is you know that okay and cgs unit is what is the cgs unit for here okay here calorie per gram so we know that the heat energy cgs unit is calorie and mass is gram that's why calorie per gram and si unit is joule per kilogram Now, okay, come to the our next concept. Latent 